Now we're moving on to Disc 15, Volume 2. Released alongside Issue 32 of the official UK PlayStation magazine in May 1998. This disc has five playable demos, one Net Eurosa game, and three video previews. There's lots of driving demos on this one, so let's get started. This is the demo for Crime Killer. With a name so on the nose like that, you might expect it to be bad, but the gameplay is pretty solid. You drive around in a futuristic cop car, apprehending criminals in a city with your vehicle's onboard weapons. The full game has multiple vehicles for you to use, but the demo gives you one level with one objective. Stop the crims who have snuck into the precinct's garage and have stolen all the police vehicles in there. Here's the cover demo, Motorhead, described as a futuristic racing game, existing somewhere between Wipeout and Ridge Racer. Well, looking at it here, Gran Turismo it ain't. Reviews were mixed, praising its setting but criticising its short number of tracks. The full game has 8 tracks and 10 cars. A frankly forgettable racer. Not bad, but doesn't have enough in it to keep invested for long. Back on disc 7, I played Signosis's Formula 1 97. Well, here's the American side of open wheel racing, Newman Haas Racing, the PlayStation's take on an IndyCar simulation. It's built on the same engine as the Formula 1 game, making it a great racing game. Reviews for the game were fairly positive, comparing it to, of course, Formula 1 and Kart World Series.
Also on disc 7 was a demo for Nightmare Creatures, which I also talk about in depth on that video. This particular demo on disc 15 is a brand new demo, different to the one on disc 7. This demo gives you a new level to play and a new character to play with. Let's take a look at one of the many Command & Conquer copycats, starting with Zed. A top-down strategy game, there are no resources to spend and no bases to build. Gameplay involves you using your units to capture sectors of the map containing structures that manufacture units for your army. As long as you have these sectors under your control, the structures within those sectors will keep pumping out units for you to use. But be careful, as the enemy can do the same thing and capture their own sectors to build up their army, and it is possible to capture an enemy's sector. Reviews of the game were positive, calling it a quick and dirty version of Command and Conquer with a good sense of humor. You got it. Oh my god! We're under attack. Grenades collected. Unit reporting. Robot manufactured. Now for the Net Eurosi game. This one is called the Incredible Cone Man, and it's basically just 3D Pac Man. There were a few Pac Man clones in Net Eurosi, I'm sure we'll come across more of them. The power ups make you invincible and move faster for a couple of seconds. There's also the usual Net Eurosi advert. There's three previews on here, starting with Cooler World.
Gran Turismo. And Three Lions, which we'll be seeing on the very next disc. That's all for this disc. Lots of racing games, but nothing that really stands out. On the next disc, I play football, play some more football, and play pinball. Thanks for watching.